I may have to uh, watch that again with the wife one day this week. She's yeah. uh, she's having surgery this week. Oh, really? So while she's convalescing, uh-huh. maybe I'll fire up Field of Dreams. Yeah, that'll be cool. I hope she's okay. Um, yeah, she's just getting all her veins removed. That's all. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Uh, her most recent fitness competition, they said she was too vascular, and I thought maybe that meant she could eat a cheeseburger, and she said, no, I'm just going to get my veins removed. So. She's going to get those dug out today. So that'll be good. Uh, <laughs> option one, option one, get surgery. Option two, eat a cheeseburger. I mean, listen, I've been hard on the cheeseburger. Uh, <laughs> the other night during SummerSlam, I fired up some cheeseburgers and uh, yeah, I had one for her. Yeah. Did you have any Boca burgers on the grill? No, I did not. Cause I knew you weren't coming. I knew you were invited, but you weren't coming. So uh, I bought the Boca hmm. burgers. So I threw those right in the fucking trash. I should have gotten in touch with you. Do you know why I didn't come? Uh, I assume you couldn't get it up. I don't know. Nope. Basement was flooded for the third time oh. in our career. Oh my. Yeah. What a disaster. Yeah. Is that not the biggest pain in the ass when it's you got worse. something going on at the house? Like, I think I've talked about this on the show, but you know, uh, Cassio has been uh, chilling at my house uh-huh. and he, uh, he took such, he had a family reunion and the Mitchell family at your house monster shits monster that it uh-huh. ruined the plumbing i'm talking about busted the sewer line behind the house yeah so as you know that house hangs on the side of a mountain all right they had to drive down big excavators and like scoop the land of the earth away in order to patch up where he had doo so i mean it was concrete just busting the deal and so after we got that fixed then we had to figure out how to get the doo up the mountain so i had to replace the pump there so, I mean, he had just total collapse 13, 14, $15,000 later, I think we're done. Mm-hmm. And then he says, Hey man, there's dookie in the street. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, out in front of the house, there's a leak. And I'm like, what, 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 how do you, how do you take concrete shits? How, how is that possible that you can process it this way? But they dug up my road, Tony. And they've put it back together. They, they found the leak, they patched it and had to re asphalt, but it's been a process. Like I just want to, it's a cautionary tale. If you're thinking about having Cassio kid as a house guest or letting him stay at your place for a bit, just make sure your plumbing is airtight because you're going to have issues. Yeah, absolutely. Then there's Hank probably shitting all over the floor. Well, you know, what's funny is he was, um, I thought, I think a lot of people thought, Hey, he's just going to find a cool spot to rent. Well, it turns out, uh, that's not an option for him. So my man, Cassio kid had to go buy another house and I'm happy to report he found one. And I believe he's under contract now, but he didn't have a choice to rent because of Hank, or as I like to call it, that felony on a leash, nobody rents to a pit pit bull owner. (laughs) Felony on a leash. Well, that's what Hank is. He's, I mean, I love Hank. But when you see Hank and you know, well, that dog's more than a hundred pounds and he's very muscular and he's showing me every tooth in his head, but not because he's a violent dog because he's an idiot and he's smiling. <laughs> and so as you get closer, he's, his tail's wagging. He just wants you to lick. He wants to lick you to death. Never right. have I ever yeah. felt Hank's teeth. Yeah. But he wants to show them to me all the time. Like, I'm so happy you're here. Yeah. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> and if it wasn't Cassio, you'd be like, man, that dog's going to eat me up. And then you're like, but it's Cassio. So this dog's probably got like a whoopee cushion on him. Somewhere. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh. Well, you know, there's an idiot and then there's the idiots that own it. Yes. There you go. The idiots <laughs> and the idiots that own it. That's right. Hey, we do got a few uh, other news and notes I wanted to hit you up with. I got okay. tagged on social media no less than a dozen times over the weekend hmm. asking, if something they saw on the Olympics is what you meant by low key, big hog. Did you see mm. this? Yeah, I did. You sent it to me. This fellow decided to go pole vaulting. Uh-huh. And, uh, he's probably trained his whole life for it. Right. We're excited for him, but didn't work out. No, it didn't. Right there. <laughs> what? Yeah. Did Dave Silva? <laughs> 
I thought we were going to show a video clip. Of, okay, uh, we can't show the clip. We can't. And, and Dave Silva drew an arrow, <laughs> pointing to the man's crotch. What are we doing? I. Okay, the guy. <laughs> this is not what I had envisioned. Yeah, me neither. Uh, me neither. The guy. Uh, so the the guy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we know where it is, Dave. We, we the know where it is. You can take it off, all right? <laughs> Shit, fire. <laughs> we, we there know ain't nothing it. low key when you're zooming in. <laughs> pointing. Look, look. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, We're going to have more meetings, some pre production meetings around Grant, here. Grant McCauley is the one that uh, put that out there and had asked if this is what we meant by low. Key. So, what happened? The guy goes across, okay? And, and his the, wiener knocks the pole down. And his wiener knocks the bar down. Yes. And it's obviously a pretty big wiener. Okay. And it knocked the, the pole down. So, there it is. There's the wiener. For those of you who don't know where guys' wieners are, they're right between the left and the right leg. Right there. Right above the asshole. There's the wiener. You know what I'm fascinated by? <laughs> What goes on in that mind of Dave Silva's <laughs> where he's like, all right, Conrad had on the punch list today, penis pole vaulter. <laughs> Let me go get some stills and draw arrows. I mean, it's a wonder he didn't have fireworks coming out of that motherfucker. Are we afraid that NBC is going to come down on us? Ah, uh, maybe who knows? Hey, I want to ask you a question. Uh, Do you think okay. like, I know he spent his whole life working for this event. Mm -hmm. Right. And the uh, amount of practice mm -hmm. and dedication and commitment and perseverance and consistency, it's off the charts. Right. It didn't work out. Right. This happens instead. Yeah. I know that if you won a medal, that was the original goal. Mm -hmm. But I think this might pay more dividends than winning the medal. I think so too. I feel like his dance card is full. I right. feel like he could become, he could go viral with this and lean into it if he wanted to. And if I think if someone was to say to you, Tony, let's say they're coming over to help you with the flood in your basement. Okay. And they're like, oh, so you're a sports guy. Oh yeah. Well, I see all these baseballs and I know that you gotta be a sports guy. You ever watched the Olympics? Yeah. I've checked out the Olympics Yeah. back in 1996. I want a silver medal in pole vaulting. Mm -hmm. You would not say, oh my God, are you so-and-so? Because you yeah. have no fucking idea who right. won the silver in 96 in pole vaulting. Right. But if he said, hey, I was in the Olympics back in 2024. Oh, were you really? Yeah, pole vaulting. Remember that guy whose wiener got caught on the bar? <laughs> You'd be, oh my God, that was you? Right. <laughs> I mean, boom, you're in. Right. Did did this, did this explode on social media? I'm, I'm sure it did. Oh, yeah. oh, it went huge. Yeah. And you know, it unfortunately became political too, because there's lots of political idiots who made that a whole separate thing. And it was did like, they really? Did they really? Yeah. Wouldn't, you like, wouldn't you like to just take those people and wrap their wiener around a pole vault? I'll tell you what, I, uh, you know, I, we're not going to talk about politics on the show that, that we're the escape from real life here mm -hmm. on the program. Mm -hmm. But I will say they've been running better wrestling storylines than wrestling this year. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, just the theater of, of American politics, I always knew existed, but I don't think I knew just how over the top it could be at times. Yeah, it's terrible. Oh man. It's, it's wild.